Welcome back. Thanks for joining me. Today I have another Dollar Tree Christmas wreath DIY. This one is super quick, super easy. And again, it's all Dollar Tree items that you're using. Before we get started, don't forget to press the like button and subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can follow me along on my crafting journey. All right, let's get started. What you're going to need is the Dollar Tree garland. I have one pack. It did break in two, so it'll look like it's two pieces, but it's just one piece. Some cardboard, a ruler, and a pencil. So first, I just grabbed an old box that I had around from something that was shipped to me. And you just measure out. I'm using just a regular ruler, and I'm just measuring out the shape for the triangle. You can... Um, make it bigger if you want this piece of cardboard though is kind of small the pieces so i didn't want to make it too big if you did make it bigger you would need more garland also but i just draw out the triangle and you see i make it so that it has an inside and an outside so that you can have the shape to wrap the garland around once you're done and then i just cut it along the lines that i drew and that's really it for the base. You can double it up if you want to make it a little stronger. It really doesn't need to be that strong because once you wrap the garland around it, it does give it some stability. All right. So once you have that, then you just basically wrap the garland around. You don't really have to secure it at the end or the beginning, but you could hit it with a dab of glue if you would like. But you're just going to keep wrapping it around till you get to the end if once you get to the corners you'll have to wrap it around a few times just to cover and you're going to be pushing back on the corners to make sure they are completely covered for this one i did leave an opening at the tip there you can see because i'm just going to be putting the topper on it and i wanted it to be a flat surface so you can pick whichever you like i picked some leaves that i had from a dollar tree item when you're doing it to lay them flat, I took off the little plastic piece on the back because it was lifting up with them on. So I'm just going to do that. And then I'm layering them with the hot glue gun. And this way, when you're doing it like this, you can mix and match different leaves or plant things that you might have to give a different effect and, you know, make it real full if you would like. But I just did a couple of layers of it, like I said, and glued it down with the hot glue gun. Once I was done doing that... Then I just went on top of it with the little berry bead <laughs> things. Like I said, you could top it with a thing. At the beginning, you see I had like a big bow there. That would have just been real simple to do that. And like I said, it looks just like a Christmas tree. But my initial goal was just to make a triangle. And once I did it, I was like, oh, wait, Christmas tree. <laughs> so you can call it whatever you want to call it. But it's real simple. And then you just decorate it how you feel. I decided to go along and do it with more of the berries that I had placed up top there just so it all blended together and matched. So I just placed them around different ways. And I also went in with little glitter twigs that from the Dollar Tree also. They come in a big stem, but I just cut them apart into little pieces. And then I placed them in the garland in various places to give it a little shimmer shine you know when it hits the light and different things like that then i went back on top with the berries and i had to cut them into little pieces to stick because i didn't want too big of a cluster in each section so i just went and hit that with the hot glue gun and put those around i put little bunches and individual pieces just to give it a cute little effect and that was basically it for that part of it then you're done and you can just hang it like that or you can add another bell like I did. And that's really it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye.